Hi, I'm Walt. And I'm Stacy. We're both from Michigan Virtual. We're former teachers and instructional coaches. I would even venture to say we're veterans. I think so. We have a friend though, who's a brand new teacher named Kelly, and she's provided us some artificial intelligence tutorials that we're about to watch together and comment on. So this is a fun, lighthearted interaction, and we hope you enjoy it and maybe get some ideas for how you might use these tools in the classroom. Hello, today we'll be going over Divit, which is an AI website that creates just right resources for teachers to use, use, which will save them a ton of time and will help students of all grade levels access a variety of content. So for Divit, there is a premium version and a free version, and there are a couple differences between the two. One of the key ones that I noticed was that was the ability to align to standards you can only do on the premium version. Um, now for going over Diffit, you can put literally anything um, such as a topic, a theme, or a question um, here, or you can do an article or video, or a text or excerpt. So first I'm going to input a topic and I'll say the water cycle. You can switch over here if it's nonfiction or fiction. Um, and then you can choose a grade level. So I'm going to do third. And you can change the language for the reading to be in. And I'm going to do English. So as you can see, Diffit created a reading passage which was adapted to be third grade level, a summary of the information, some key vocabulary words about the water cycle, multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and open-ended prompts. All of these you can edit, you can copy, um, you can add more, and you can also edit this photo up here. Now that's cool. It provides adaptive reading passages from a website and then helps create the vocabulary that you need to teach. That is a game changer. I'm going to go back and show you how to insert a video. Um, you can change the reading level of the video if you feel you need to, and you can change the language again. Um, here is a reading passage, and for this one, the reading passage is the transcript of the video. Again, a summary, vocabulary words, all of the same content as last time. You can change it up here. You can change the reading level if you want, or you can translate it. And then last, I'm going to copy and paste some text, or you can upload a PDF, um, an approximate reading level. So I inserted the Declaration of Independence. So let's do sixth grade, just to see what it comes up with. So here's an adapted passage to the sixth grade reading level, a summary, key vocabulary words, multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and open-ended prompts. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the image. I like that one more. And for all of these at the bot bottom was a get student activity button. And there are a bunch of different activities that you can download. Here is where another place that um, having premium might be um, helpful because some of these are paid versions. But here you can um, change the elements that are included on the document that you download. And now you can download the document in a couple different ways. You can do a Google Doc, share it to Classroom, download a PDF, and download a Word Doc. So I'm going to do a Google Doc, and 
here we are. Here's the photo that I chose, some key terms, the adapted reading, a reading summary, questions, and the open-ended questions. And you can print this off for your students to work on. So that was a brief summary of DFIT. Thank you for watching. I'm thinking of learners I've had that have lots of different preferences. So taking this YouTube video, being able to take the transcripts out and then create questions, summaries, vocabulary at their level, that would be big for my students on 504s or IEP accommodations to really help them engage in learning that everyone else is doing.